Okay, I'm Larry Fitzmaurice. I'm the, kind of the patriarch of this crowd. And uh, what we've got going here this week is my daughter and her contingent from South Carolina, where I now reside as well, uh, will be here for the week. And soon the folks, relatives of mine from Massachusetts will arrive and uh, we'll have a week or portions of the week together. And this will be kind of a a family portrait video opportunity where, you know, years later maybe they'll uh, take a look at it and have some fond memories. It'll be like a page in the family ch chapter book. So uh, we're looking forward to a nice week and uh, uh, it's a pleasure to do this and have some fun with them. I'm Laura Rammel and I'm the oldest and by far the most favorite daughter of Larry Fitzmorris. I am here at the Cape, my beloved summer place since I was a little, little girl. And we make our annual pilgrimage from Charleston, where we now live, to hang out at the Cape and spend time with some of the Massachusetts contingency. And I'm here with my son, Justin, and my daughter-in-law, Lauren, and my daughter, Kristen, and her husband, Paul, and my delightful grandchildren. This is my oldest granddaughter, Riley. Addy, come here. She does professional cheerleading, or not professional, but competitive. And we are having a great time. We flew in yesterday and we are enjoying it already. We have a whole week together to play on the beach and do all sorts of things. What do you think, girl? My name is Riley. What's your name? Her name's Addison. And you having fun here today? Yeah. Are you? Um, we're having a party. Um, the beach is right outside, and I like I like to find stuff, like find sea glass on the beach. Do you like to find things on the beach? My name is Justin. I am one of many grandchildren of Larry's. This week is a bit of a family reunion. Um, it's, you know, we grew up coming to the Cape um, as children every summer. Um, it's been years since we've done it. Um, so this is kind of a, a reunion, um, you know, coming back here um, to where we, we spent our summers growing up and doing it one last time. So today, um, as of now, it's Larry um, and two of his grandchildren, one being me, the other my sister, um, her husband and children, and my wife. Yeah, I love coming up here. Um, we're, we're beautifully situated here on the bay. Um, it's been a great time to, you know, just kind of relax and unwind and enjoy, enjoy the breezes. 
Um, well, I'd like to take this kayak out and uh, see if we can go get over to that the island over there across the bay. Um, we have our family friend John McReynolds here who might do a bit of sailing. Um, so looking forward to getting out on the water one way or another. It's great. It's awesome. You know, we moved down to um, South Carolina uh, about 15 years ago now. Um, so we don't get to come up here too often. Um, and, you know, visit with our, our family that's still up here. Um, so it's great to have everybody um, back together. And like I said, you know, growing up here, spending our summers on the Cape, um, it's been years since we've done it. So it's it's nostalgic. It's nice. I hope that maybe. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll be doing this for a while, but, um, you know, as Kristen starts her family and the rest of the cousins and myself start families of our own, it would, you know, maybe be nice to, to keep the tradition alive and, and keep coming back here uh, in the future. I am Kristen. I am the youngest granddaughter. And. I am here with my fiance Paul and our two daughters, Riley who is eight and Addie who is three. We're really excited because all of my cousins who I used to come down and spend time at the Cape with are also coming and they're bringing their children along. So it's kind of like um, a next generation Cape trip of what we used to all do when we were kids. And I'm really excited to see everyone come together and kind of do stuff that we used to do when we came as children. It's my favorite thing. There's nothing I love more than bringing everyone together. I look forward to it so much every year and I'm really happy that um, we get to really bring everyone in today. I hope that you guys keep the tradition alive. I hope that you always bring the family together, have reunions, and the only place to do it is here in Cape Cod. Like I said, it's my favorite thing to do. I'm happy to be here and uh, I hope we can do it as long as we can. Hi, I'm Cynthia Reed McReynolds, and I have known Larry Fitzmorris for 54 years, um, probably. Sounds like 1970. Third grade, 1970. And I'm John McReynolds. Um, I've known the Fitzmorrises since 1978. Um, I was a classmate with uh, uh, Larry's son, Peter, and uh, Cynthia and I met uh, in 1978 or 79 in the Fitzmorris's kitchen. I was visiting my friend Peter and Cynthia was visiting her best friend Laura and that's how we met. We met uh, in their kitchen and then yeah. 14 years later we... And we reconnected because of the Fitzmorris clan. <laughs> yeah, we actually met, we re-met each other at a uh, Fitzmorris... Fourth um, uh, of July party at McQuaid, McQuaid. The McQuaid Clam Bake. And we bumped into each other in the backyard of Nana McQuaid, um, Larry's uh, mother-in-law's house. And uh, we got to chatting and had a nice conversation. And fast forward to 1992, we ultimately got married. Mm -hmm. So we, th we have the Fitzmorrises to thank for our, for our marriage. That's right. And Larry and his wife Anne are my second parents. I spent many an hour at their house, including getting sent to my room at their house once or twice by Larry uh, in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Go to your room. I don't live here. Go to your room. <laughs> we love Larry dearly, and we're glad to be here today on the Cape, a place that not only do they hold dear, but we do as well. So Larry, Larry invited us down um, to join the family for this, this reunion. Uh, we didn't really understand the significance of it, but it's, it may be you know, just one of, the, one of the last opportunities they have as a, as a larger family to get together. And as sort of the surrogate children, um, it means the world to us to be included, to, to be included in this. And, mm -hmm. and being here in Pocasset on Redbrook Harbor, this whole area is very special and near and dear to our hearts, so it's, it's even nicer that we get to share this whole uh, area and this time with them. So, pretty, pretty awesome day. So, last year we came up, uh, great experience. We want to continue the tradition that they've carried on for so long. Um, really hoping that this is going to continue on in the future. 
We have a lot of games to play. We do. Do lots of stuff to do today. And uh, getting here is also a lot of fun. I mean, we were lucky enough to all be on the same flight. So the airport was an experience, the airplane was an experience, and we all got to arrive here together. And we all sat together. Mm -hmm. Except for me. <laughs> you love it here? I love it. So we're, we're, we live in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, you can't go outside for more than about an hour in the middle of the summer. So this is a, it's a breath of fresh air up here. You know, 70, 80 degrees. Yeah. Uh, I think we want to try to explore the Cape just like we did last year. Uh, we each got rental cars, so we're gonna we're gonna pack them up and you know see what else there is to do here and explore all the way around the Cape, right? Kids are gonna experience a very different type of beach here than they're used to at home, which I also think will be interesting. I'm excited to see how they do here. Huh? You wanna play in the water a little bit? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's great to experience what they experienced as kids and to, uh, you know, continue on with what they've done and get a taste of their childhood and then also provide that same experience to our kids. Uh, I hope you guys are recording this same video in 2070. Mm, just happy to be here. I'm Lauren. I'm Justin's wife. I um, have been in the family for about 10 years. Eight of those as a girlfriend, two of those as a wife. I'm just really happy to be here. I think no expectations from my side. We're just letting the days come and go and just enjoy being together. And I know that this is a really special place for the um, Fitzmorris family and the Rammels. So being able to experience this with them is really special to me um, that they've included us and we get to watch the littles grow up. This is my niece, Riley. So it's just really special to see it, um, kind of hear all of their memories come to life a little bit and all their experiences from growing up and seeing them in action is really special. Yeah, uh, I think the plan is no plan, just to unwind, relax, um, get away from the day to day and see some family that we don't you know, always get to see and catch up and uh, just en enjoy being here. The family being together all at the same time is very rare. We don't get to do it very often because we live in Charleston and um, half of the family lives up here in Massachusetts. So when we get together, it's chaotic, but it's the best kind of chaos um, because there's just something so special about being together um, under the same roof because it doesn't happen very often. Well, I, I'm just, you know, delighted to have them as family and, and also the extended family of their, of their husbands and wives and children, now, now great-grandchildren, some of them. And, uh, you know, it's a pleasure for me uh, to have lived long enough to enjoy them and, uh, and have fond memories of those who have left us uh, in my family. I, I wish they were here as well, but uh, that's how life works. Uh, Dan Vado and a good friend of Larry's, I hope. <laughs> okay, so what brings you here today? I was invited. <laughs> I get together with his family and uh, asked to do some cooking tomorrow. Oh, he's been a great guy. We first met by doing business, and then we expanded that to plan as much golf as we could, and uh, then going out to eat with wives and. Uh, now that he's moved away, it was a good opportunity to see him again. <laughs> I, I live in Onset, okay. but I, if it's uncomfortable, I stay in Arlington. <laughs> oh, I think it's very important that it uh, looks like the people that arrived so far are a great family and uh, looking forward to meeting the rest of them. Anything else you want to add? No, it should be a great day. Weather's going to hold out, a little warm, but should be great. Wait to see who else shows up. My name's Brendan, and I'm Larry's grandson. Um, I'm Olivia, and I'm Brendan's wife, and this is our son, Liam. Oh, we're happy to be here to visit family. It's been a long time since we were all down here together as a family when I was a kid, visiting with all the cousins, and here we are with a new generation of cousins, and uh, yeah, we're, we're just happy to be here doing it again. And the first time, we'll, I think all the cousins have been together. 
Oh, it fun. feels fantastic. <laughs> it's, you know, we're happy so much for both Larry and for Laura and her family yes, that they found such a comfortable home down in South Carolina and that they love it there. And we, we love visiting them there, but it's really great to have them back here too on the Cape where we've all spent so much time together. <laughs> oh, in 50 years, hopefully we're still doing this, right, Liam? Hopefully we've still got these close ties and this connection to the area. And Liam might be a granddad. He might be, you never know. You think you're gonna be a granddad in 50 years, Liam? We'll see, that makes me feel a bit old. Let's hope not. <laughs> I am Erin Fitzmorris. I am Larry's granddaughter. Uh, I'm Kyle Poulter, and I'm married to Erin Fitzmorris, Larry's granddaughter. <laughs> it's nice. We, have, we haven't done a Cape vacation in years, so it's nice to be able to have one again and to bring the next generation down and kind of show them what we grew up doing every summer. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, so this, it's actually kind of cool because my family um, used to have a house like a few blocks down that way. Um, and so this is, Cats, it's a pretty cool area for that. But to be able to bring my kid here and to spend time with the family. It's nice to be able to like, be so close to the ocean and to um, have such a beautiful view and to just be able to like catch up with people and um, yeah just have a fun fun day It feels great having the family together because about 14 years ago I moved with my family to South Carolina where we also have beautiful beaches that we get to spend a lot of time on, but there's nothing quite like Cape Cod. So it's awesome to come down here because the majority of the family remains in New England. You, most of them are in Massachusetts, right here in town, not too far from the Cape. So we're gonna get to see everybody later on today and we are so excited because we really don't get to see that side of the family as much anymore, maybe once a year. So this is going to be awesome. So there are so many stories right around the corner on Salt Marsh Lane, walking distance from where we are right now, is where I grew up with my brother Peter and my sister Megan. And I can't even begin to recount the memories we have of that beach. I mean, there's just too many to even remember. So it's especially cool to be back at this part of the Cape because I've been coming here since I was six months old. So it's incredible to be back here. It really is. Name's Bob Quinn, met Larry at State Street Bank many, many years ago. Then Larry became a, a, a homeless vet, knew him there, became a good friend. He was a client first, then a good friend, best friend. Well, Larry invited me a few weeks ago. I haven't seen Larry in a few years, so I didn't want to miss it. So, came down here from Bridgewater. Glad I did. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Quite a family, quite a family. 50 years from now, Semper Fi. I'm Megan, and I am Larry's granddaughter. <laughs> I am Bobby, and I'm Megan's fiance. I mean, um, we're here down on the Cape with all the cousins, and we used to do this every summer when we were kids, so it's Nice to have everybody back down here for kind of a full circle day, which is awesome. So, yeah. And I'm here with Megan and the children to yeah. see everybody, visit everybody. A whole group of family fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a good time. We always had a great time when we were kids down here, so it's nice, especially with the other half living far away now, that we can have some time together. So, yeah. So yeah, with everybody down in South Carolina, it's nice to have everyone back and you know, hanging out. So. I hope you guys are still doing this. I mean, it's a great tradition great for sure. We love the Cape and we hope to continue the traditions as the kids get older and it would be nice. <laughs> My grandchildren and my great-grandchildren continue this tradition. I hope that we're coming here until I'm well into my 80s. So I, I just, it's definitely going to become a part of our family. You're coming too. You're, and Riley says she's going to be coming here until she's 100. So there you go. 
That's how we feel about Pitt. It's going to be a big part of our family. It always has been. And I'm so glad that even though we live way, way down the coast, we still get to like be here and have it part of our life and part of our family legacy because it's all about family and Cape is where it happens. I love my family more than anything in the world and it's just the biggest gift in the world that we're all going to be together today. Um, so the Cape Cod is, you know, somewhere that we, we spent our summers growing up um, year after year. Typically we'd be in East Ham, um, but it's a special place for all of us. Uh, we moved to South Carolina about 15 years ago, um, so we don't always get to come up here every year um, and see our family, let alone come spend time with them in the Cape. Um, so it's definitely a special weekend to be back here in a place that means so much to us and, you know, hang out with some family members that we don't we don't get to see a whole lot. My name is Krista Ryan. I am the former next door neighbor of Larry and Ann Fitzmorris on Garrison Road in Wellesley, Massachusetts. It feels lovely to be invited to a family event at the Fitzmorris's. We lived next door to Larry and Ann for many years, and then Larry, once Ann passed, we uh, were invited to several family backyard gatherings at the Fitzmorris's and reciprocated and invited Larry over to our house for backyard celebrations. And uh, it, it's, it's lovely to be here in the summer on the Cape with such an amazing view. Uh, and seeing Larry and his family again. Fitzmorris's, what an amazing family. We, um, we, uh, my husband and I have three children. We had one child and another on the way when we purchased our house next to Larry and Anne. Uh, they were such amazing neighbors uh, for, for the entire time that they were in Wellesley. Um, and we're just so grateful for them for uh, helping us when we we didn't know how to uh, do the, the radiator or the furnace. Larry showed us and um, just amazingly kind neighbors and amazingly kind family. My name is Aaron Siegel and Larry is my oldest living friend. Well, we've been looking forward to this because uh, our two families going way back, you know, probably I would guess about 65 years have been together. Larry's wife, Ann, and my wife, Dottie, were like sisters. We lived across the street from each other for quite a while. Um, and we've been like one family for all of these years. So their kids are like my kids and my kids are like his kids. And so it's nice to see the, all the friends and the multiple generations. Well, um, who knows what 50 years is going to bring. But uh, the 50 years before that were pretty good. They were good times and there were tough times. But we kind of weathered them together. And 50 years from now, you're probably going to have to do the same thing. I hope you have a beautiful spot like this to come to for that.